welcome back to the goat yard. Uh, Marvel and Natasha had their babies. Um, so we have four more uh, San Clemente goat babies. Yay! He's like, what? <laughs> it was another boy year for us. Um, we have one baby girl. Yep, her. And then the rest are boys. <laughs> so all three of these are boys. Um, our San Clemente Island goats um, over here in the petting yard. I'll tell you a little bit about, about the breed in general. San Clemente goats are a heritage breed, which means they are an endangered domestic. So that means that there are very, very few of them left. The history of this breed is that um, the se settlers, br <laughs> settlers brought them over <laughs> with them. Um, they are a multi-purpose goat. So that means that they use them for both dairy and meat. Oops, go down. <laughs> um, and so they left them off the coast of California for future settlers for, for a meat source. However, they were left on the island um, for several decades. And they kind of overtook the island and they were killing all of the native vegetation. So um, they started taking care of the goat population. Luckily, there were some farmers that stepped in and uh, took care of those goats, brought them in. At that point, there was about only about 300 left of them. Uh, to, that was in the 1980s. So today there is um, a better population, but they are still a heritage breed. They are still an endangered species. Uh, I believe the population today is right around 800 individuals. So here at Miller Park Zoo, we are one of the um, many zoos and private farms that breed and educate about the San Clemente Island goat and other heritage breeds. So these guys, um, we will sell all of these guys, all these goat kids at the end of the summer <laughs> once they are weaned and they will go to other facilities. Uh, I actually think our boys here uh, will be moving up to Lincoln Park, I believe. They're eating over here. Nope. So Marvel, the babies that we're watching eat right now, they will be one week old tomorrow. And then Natasha's are about two weeks old. And these babies will nurse for about eight weeks. At which point I will pull the boys out of here because goats, I call them the rabbits of the hoofstock world. Uh, baby boys are fertile at eight weeks, so I have to separate them. Especially because we have little Bonnie in our big yard still. So, they have to be separated. They'll go live with the cow until they are castrated or moved to their new home. Any questions? Are we just no, watching? No Keep questions. Go Everybody's just. Just chilling. Let's see if I can get a close up without scaring them. Yeah, we're still working on socializing them. You can see this is a good example of a lot of the different color variations that you get with the San Clementes. Um, Marble Mom right here in front of us, she's a darker red line of the San Clemente. She's got the longer hair. Um, she's a little bit more red than some of the others. Um, while Natasha tends to, is more of the, she's got shorter hair. She's more of the blonde line. It's funny, they are sisters though. Um, but then you can see even amongst the babies like this guy he doesn't have any of the um, the white modeling he is completely black and he might I, I expect that he might become even darker as he gets older and then you can see this baby boy he's got a big old white cap on
So it's really fun to see when the babies are born to see the different colorations that we get. And then as they get older, who's going to have, you can't really tell at this age, but who's going to have longer or shorter hair. Oh yeah, and then Storm is all black with the gold, I call them the gold wings on her face. Pam wants to know if we crate train them to go in their crate for when they go to a new home. Uh, I have, yes, not too much, not too much. Um, a lot of the goats, we, they, they go to nearby facilities so they don't have a long car ride. When we sold, oh, that's hot. Um, when we sold goats on the, to the East Coast, to a zoo in New Jersey, um, I crate trained them because they were gonna have to be in a crate all day. So I wanted to make sure that they were comfortable in a crate. So it's pretty easy to train goats. Um, as you can imagine, they are extremely food motivated. So a lot of times, as long as you find the right snack, they will do just about anything for you. They're really fun to train. They're a lot smarter than what people often give goats credit for. Um, they can learn pretty quickly, depending on the goat. I mean, just like a dog, sometimes, you get a dog that <laughs> takes a little bit longer to learn. Otherwise, uh, sometimes you get one that's wicked smart and picks up on behaviors really fast. Um, I think I, at another zoo I worked at, we had a goat that was trained to open her mouth because she had tooth issues a lot. So we taught her to open her mouth and we could file her teeth while she was awake. Uh, your dad is wondering uh, how long they live. Uh, these guys, goats live similar uh, to dogs, so these larger breeds. San Clemente's are, are considered a medium to large breed. Um, so these guys will live to be about 10 to 12 years old. They're a little bit bigger than um, a lot of you guys know who Charlie is. He's a pygmy goat. I can't see him right now. I think he, oh, he's over there sleeping. Um, he's a smaller breed, so he may live to be... 12 to 15 ish these guys are about 10 to 12 ish and then there are much larger goats like boar goats or um nubians nubians that's what i was thank you nubians those guys are like 130 150 pound goats yeah, those, those guys won't live as long they knock you over yeah uh haley's wondering if we will keep any of these babies we will not keep any of these babies um i believe all five of our baby our, all of our goat kids this year have been spoken for already. I forget where they all are going, but um, our female will probably be sold to a, a private farm for breeding. And then um, there's a lot of a lot of places had boys again this year, so our boys will most likely be castrated, and I believe they're going to Lincoln Park Zoo. <laughs> that was not Natasha's baby. Yeah. <laughs> the problem is if we keep any, we have to keep them separated from the parents and not let them breed right so all, all these boys are related to any of the adult females that we use for breeding so yeah. we don't we don't want inbreeding so they will go to new homes correct <sighs> look at him trying to eat already yeah they grow up really fast He just saw mom chewing on these leaves and he's like, hmm, I must like leaves. They're not really, they're, they're, they're exclusively nursing still. I think this is more out of curiosity than actually wanting to eat it. I think he's, he's approaching the toddler phase uh, where he wants to stick everything in his mouth. He's very similar to human toddlers that they're, they're exploring their new world with their mouth. Um, Haley wants to know when they're considered adults. Um, you can, typically you can breed a goat when they're, well, females, I should say, when they're about a year and a half old. Um, about a year and a half to two years is when you're typically considered a, considered a full grown adult. Yeah, the ones we had born last year are still relatively small. Right. Those boys... The boys that we still have from last year, you, they might be able to breed smaller females. Um, 
but some of our like they're small enough that some of our females probably wouldn't even let the smaller males our females wouldn't let those smaller males breed them probably right oops and everybody gone Tasha thought I had snacks. oops it's trying to catch one I was gonna show can you are you able to grab one of the smaller ones so they're weak. I was going to show them the umbilical cord was still attached. But yeah, you can still, I'm having reflection issues, but you can still see that umbilical cord from yep, hasn't dried off last yet. Thursday. And these guys are up and walking around within about 10 minutes yeah. of being born. Yeah, so they're born, mom will clean them off, and then they're up and walking pretty quick. All right, welcome back, everybody. My phone overheated. It was hot in the sun. <laughs> My phone does not like to... Facebook Live videos take up a ton of memory and make your phone burn up. And then being in the sun just makes it worse. So we had to bring them inside, so... Grace's phone didn't overheat, too. <laughs> so we'll let the babies run around in the barn. What was I answering? I forget. Uh, let's see. What you asked, we... Mom. What was your question? Oh, mom was talking about the babies getting along, like the moms oh, and the moms babies. Oh, together, yes. So, um, we have Marvel and Natasha together. Their babies are similar in age, so that helps a lot. Um, oh, she lost mom. Oh, some Corinne is bringing in hay, so the moms went that. The moms are watching way. Corinne bring in hay. Marvel, stay here. Um, Marvel and Natasha get along pretty well together. There's a little bit of a hierarchy there. Um, Marvel does tend to push Natasha around a little bit, but they get along really well together. Um, their babies are similar in age, so it works really well to keep everybody together. And then while we're still working with limited staff, it's, it's one less stall to clean as well. <laughs> well, they can both go outside together because yeah. the babies are not big enough to go out with the other adults. Quite yet. Yeah, they're still pretty fragile at this point, so I don't want to put them with the other adults yet. Um. These yeah. guys do really well together. Cadbury was a little monster. He was huge, so he could he go out pretty massive. early. And part of that was because he was a singleton baby. Um, Storm only had Cadbury this year, so he was a little bit bigger than, than these guys when they were born because these guys are twins. Two sets of twins. They tend to be a little bit smaller. They usually do, usually twins, but every once in a while triplets, is that right? Right. Uh, we've had one set of triplets. Natasha was actually a triplet. Um, I think there's only been one set of triplets since I've been here. But Natasha was a triplet um, three years, four years ago now. Ooh, that's a fun fact. So you hear them bleeding back and forth. That's um, just, you know, hey, where's mom? Mom will respond. Um, but that is one of the differences that you can tell sheep and goats apart. Goats sound like they're screaming for ma. They go, meh. Sheep, ba. So that's how you can tell them apart. One way you can tell them apart. That's right. This guy's falling asleep in my arms. He's really relaxed, yes. Did we want to talk about their names? Oh yeah, so our, our we did a theme. I always like I like themes. So our naming theme this summer, or at least for these four, we named Cadbury Cadbury because he was born on Easter Sunday. But these four, we started with the theme. Um, a Forrest Gump theme because little dude, where is he? He's in front of mom. Natasha's first baby over here, her her first boy, he's got a little bit of a limp still. He came out with splayed legs, so he's got some some hips that he's working out. <laughs> so we named him Forrest Gump. <laughs> so we went with the Forrest Gump theme. So his sister's name is Jenny. And then I've got Bubba Blue in my arms. So this is Forrest Gump, Forrest Gump's friend Bubba. 
And then the guy with the white cap on his head is Lieutenant Dan. Do they look like a Lieutenant Dan and a Bubba? As much as any girl would. <laughs> He looks like he's dribbling milk, but it's just white fur down his chin. Just on one side. Just on one side. Oh, that was a big sigh. Eating cobwebs, where were you? I've got both of your babies right here, Mom. Come here. Come here. Marvel. All right, well, we hope you guys uh, can come visit us and see the babies soon. Um, if you guys donate to any of our lives this week, um, you will be entered into the raffle to win uh, that reticulated python necklace. Although she shed yesterday, so I have more skin to make more things. So if I have time, maybe I'll make a second of something and I'll let whoever wins pick. So stay tuned. And yeah. Let's see, tomorrow. Ooh, Shannon's gonna have. It's an animal that she hasn't done before, I think. No, is it a. I forget. One of the snakes? Yeah, we. <laughs> It'll be a surprise. <laughs> and then don't forget all of these videos are going up on our YouTube channel, Miller yes. Park Zoo, or uh, youtube.com slash Miller Park Zoo. You can see any of these old lives or a bunch of other content we put on there. So thanks a lot.